Hey, welcome to Weld.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today we're going to show you a, a, a few features on how you can control the penetration when you're welding aluminum, and typically that's quite a task. So I've got I've got a sample already pre-set up and pre-tacked, and this is 6061 aluminum, and I'm going to be welding it with 4043 filler material. Now, if I try to weld this freehand and penetrate through, a couple of secrets. One is, you don't have to put argon backing on the back side, because what's going to happen is when you penetrate through, you're going to have all the aluminum punch through, and then it's going to oxide naturally, and it'll actually create a little membrane for you. It'll work in your favor. So if you turn it over and you have penetration, you have a line down the center, and it's like a phantom line, that's just an oxide layer. Now, the uniqueness about this isn't that I'm welding it. The uniqueness is that I'm going to put a backing bar. It's actually a, a ceramic type of bar. And if you take a look at the groove, when I get full penetration, rather than free fall, it's going to hit that groove, and it's going to form the shape that I need. So you'll see this used uh, anytime you need controlled penetration. So here's what it looks like. Put this in place. Make sure you've got the groove perfectly centered. And this backing ceramic has a tape. And it's a high temperature tape. So you can see that everything is in place. And so now I'm going to put all my gear on them to set the machine up to where I get good penetration. I'm going to need about 125, 130 amps to penetrate through. And before I do that, I just want to show you I'm using a pretty standard setup. This is just an air-cooled torch. I've got a, a flexible uh, cable on it, so it's, it's easy to, to turn and twist your hands. But I've, I've got a gas lens, 332 uh, diameter tungsten, 2% thoriated. Um, I've got a long back cap on it. If I had to get into a tight spot, I'd just put a short back cap on it. But uh, I also have a flex head, so I can get the right angle that I want. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, I'll start welding at this end, and I'll pull it towards me. And I'll add filler material along the way. And I'm going to be using 4043 filler material. Now the diameter is your choice, but because I'm going to actually over weld I'm purposely going to over weld and penetrate just so you can see how controllable it is. I'm going to use a 332 diameter. And once you go to a little bit heavier stuff, it's actually easier to control. So let me get my safety gear on and we'll get started. Okay, I got good arc initiation, and I can see that it's penetrating well. And I'm actually over welding it, and I'm doing that on purpose. I want to make sure that I get good penetration. And in the field, sometimes it's difficult to come back and do a repair. So I'm just uh, making sure I penetrate, dab at a consistent rate. Make sure you dab at a consistent rate, otherwise probably we'll end up with some cracking. Just a slow, consistent travel speed. Dab, dab, dab. So I'm getting near the, the end of the well termination. Add a little extra filler. I'm backing off on amperage just so I don't have crater cracking. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking at this weld, and it looks from the top side that I have penetration. It's pretty flat, and if necessary, I can do a second pass. Okay, now that we've got this welded, at least with a root pass, it's, it's always good to take a look at the top surface and, and see if you've gone too deep or too much penetration. Now, if you have, it's okay to go ahead and run a second fill pass. Now, before I started this weld, I just want you to know that in aluminum, especially if you're trying to get it to fuse on the backside and wet out nicely, you cannot have a gap. So 
put it up butt to butt, very, very tight. And then get your technique. When you first light the arc, make sure that you wait for a few seconds, give it a chance to sink. And once it sinks, then it's pretty controllable. Okay, now, just so you also uh, make sure that you never have to use argon on the back side, only on the torch side. So if you'll notice, this ceramic had no provisions for uh, argon shielding on the back side. And I peel it off, and you can see that it's got controlled penetration. And the nice thing about it is as soon as it penetrates, it just kind of lays there, so it gives you a chance to add filler. And you can see that it penetrated to the size of the groove on the back side. Now, you can get these ceramics in different groove sizes, and this happened to match this particular uh, wall thickness. It's about 125 thousandths wall thickness. So we're going to do a series of different ways of welding aluminum. Um, in this particular case, this material can be uh, found at several different uh, supply houses. It's readily available. Anyway, thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.